Well, I'm back at Paul's Bar ready to pick up our Travato. The Volta power system has been repaired, and as a result, so has the ground fault interrupter circuit. Because it was the heaters for the batteries, and they plug into an outlet that is tied into that GFCI. And that outlet is hidden and inaccessible to the general consumer. Tyler at Paul's Bow RV said that that outlet is hidden somewhere under the bed, behind the wall, perhaps behind the circuit breaker panel. I'm gonna do a walk around, make sure it's straight, no dings. It's been winterized. That was a requirement in order to leave it here during the winter. Sky's all loaded up. Sky, no, 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 no. Well, she's not anymore. We're ready to go, Sky. <laughs> Whew, can't wait to get home. Two and a half hour drive, and it's three o'clock. So I finally have an update on the lithium battery charging issue with my 2022 Winnebago Travato 59KL. But where do I begin? Well, first off, let me say that were I able to do this again, we wouldn't buy this Travato. It's a neat package for everything camping, yet it is packed full of issues, engineering issues that just have not been figured out yet. And we are experiencing that firsthand, which I've been sharing with you on my YouTube channel. We just got it back from three weeks at Paul's Bow RV warranty work. Well, fortunately, it turned out to be a warranty work because I issued a complaint just before the end of the three-year warranty. So moving on to the issue at hand, the Volta charging system for the batteries. It's not working properly. So I've had my Toronto home for a couple of days. I'm going to go inside and check it out. The app says everything's good. And it smells very hot in here, kind of electric like a new appliance was plugged in or something. Something's going on here. I smell something electrical. And the battery pack is almost 74 degrees Fahrenheit. That seems a little excessive to me. Perhaps the electrical pads are just breaking in? I don't know, but they should not be getting that warm. It's been a couple days. Let me check out the inside. Oh my. Still a hot electrical burning. That's not good. Definitely taking it back to Paul's Bow RV. So replacing the faulty battery pack heating pad did solve the problem of the batteries not warming up enough to be charged. And it did fix the tripped GFCI outlet. Strangely enough, that pad is connected to a hidden outlet that is inaccessible to the user and it is tied into the single circuit with the GFCI outlet. When anything in that string of outlets has a fault, the entire system has no AC power. Brilliant idea. So I'm returning the Travato to Paulsbo RV to continue with the warranty repairs. Two issues remain overheating overactive heating pad temperature and i learned from online documents and manuals that the 2022 travato 59 kl the volta pure 3 system has a gen 3 upgrade and that means it should automatically shut down when the status of charge reaches 10 percent that is not happening here and if you're not watching it you can end up with a dead system that's not good Left long enough, you may not be able to recharge the batteries. It's going back to Paul's RV.